Hello everyone, back for another part on this garden structure that I'm doing. In the last video you saw that I did the stud work, it was a quite an in-depth um, video uh, going through that. And in this part we're just going to go through putting some OSB uh, on one side, as I explained, of this stud work that we've done. Hang on, just zoom that out. Right. So we've got this uh, 12 mil OSB, somewhat of a rare commodity at the minute. Didn't pay too much money for this, so I'm quite happy about that. So uh, pretty simple really, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it down in length a little bit because this is uh, a bit lower than 2.4. And as I said, I don't think I explained it as well as I could have done. I've set these studs out uh, imperial, so they're two foot centers because the OSB comes uh, eight foot by four foot, not 1200 by 2.4. So um, I can just fit those down there. Uh, then we can put this double stud against here to close this doorway down, put the head in for that, and then we can tack all of the inside of this with OSB as well. So, gonna be a nice little job just for this morning. Crack on with that. So as I explained in the last video, what we've done now is um, put the OSB down this wall and I've cut these two studs and now what I'm going to do is just fix them both tight against that OSB. And what that'll do is just close down this uh, opening to the right structural size and then I'll just put a head in. So as you can see now, we've got that opening all framed out. That's exactly 820 mil uh, opening. So that will be uh, two foot six door lining going there, two foot six door lining going there. So now that's in, what we can do is carry on and OSB round all of this little lobby area, get that finished off looking neat and tidy. And then there's one little bit, I've got one little strip to put in down there, but I'm gonna wait until I've cut all of these bits in because there's bound to be some rips left over that will fit that. So yeah. Moving on nicely.
I've got all the boards in now. What I do is put all my full boards on first and then you can manage the offcuts for all the little bits and bobs. So that's all gone in there pretty well. And um, what's really good here is that actually we're gonna have pretty much zero waste. I've got a little sort of 67 mil strip in there. There's a 90 mil strip in here. And look what we've got left apart from some rips we took off the end. And this is all we've got left. So with the cost of this board nowadays, you don't want too much waste. So that's really cool. So I've set the table saw up. So we'll just rip that 90 mil strip and the 57 mil or 67 mil strip down on that. It's quicker, a um, little bit easier than using the, the track saw. So yeah, that's really good. All the walls are cladded now with OSB. Uh, we've left a little bit out on the top there. Um, I think it's just gonna be for ventilation, but we can cover that in at a later date if um, we change our mind. So I've just got to put these door linings in now. So I've made one up on the stools here, uh, glued and screwed, cut the horns off and stand that in. Then uh, one more to make up to do the other one. You'll notice that that lining was fairly tight because what I did was made the structural opening exactly right so there's no packers in it because basically there's not going to be any architrave on this side. So what I've done is just brought it through flush with the OSB on this side and now I shall just uh, put some screws in there and fix that straight down ready for the door to be hung onto it. Do the same with this one now. So that's both those linings screwed in. Uh, as I said, I made the uh, structural openings nice and uh, upright, so there's no packing or anything there, just screwed straight in. So what I should probably end up doing, uh, just in this little alcove area, lobby area, just to make it neat and tidy, is probably just put a little trim over there, just to lean it up. And whether or not we board across the top, um, I don't know, but that sort of mini architrave can go all the way around, just make that neat and tidy from outside here. Right, so all in all, a really productive morning, actually. It's just not quite lunchtime yet. So all of the OSB is on cut in nicely. Um, linings are in, like I said, probably just gonna, um, customer orders, we just leave these bits open for now, just for a bit of extra ventilation. Uh, I will speak a bit, uh, maybe either later on in this video or in the next video when we do the decking about the stage that we've come to on this uh, little job and why we're not gonna go much further. It's mostly down to material prices, um, but eventually uh, this ceiling will be uh, boarded in here and this ceiling will be boarded in here. Uh, jobs for me now are, as I said, done all these trims, pleased with how they all look, um, looking really neat and tidy. The only jobs we're gonna do now on this job are fit the doors so that the place is secure and fit the decking. Uh, still don't know what we're gonna go for, whether we're just gonna go for a simple uh, timber or we're gonna go for plastic. And then the last job after that will be to put ply on these um, trusses here 
um, t two reasons, seals in the building, but also adds an extra level of um, rigidity to this um, roof structure just because it's on these posts. I've put some, I've put plenty of bracing in there, but um, it wants to be finished off because this is going to be sort of a dining slash relaxing area. Don't really want to see all of that up there. So we've gotten well this morning and I, I'm sort of in full carpenter mode and I have to keep being reminded that it's actually just a sort of a garden store. And when I say it's a, a you know, a relatively decent standard garden store, but you know, it, that's exactly what it is. So I just have to keep my feet on the ground a little bit and with some of the details and just remember that it, it's, it's not gonna be lived in. So overall though, the thing's looking really, really good. I'm really happy with how it's all going. So that's this little phase done again, just done that OSB on there, put those linings in. Next job is going to be get a couple of doors and hang those. And as I said, put the decking down, tack that uh, ceiling with ply in there. And then that'll bring sort of this first phase of this garden room to a close. So I hope you've found it interesting what I've done today. It hasn't been particularly technical, but you know, as always, thanks for watching.